station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? And station's ready for the event. WHP-TV, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. All right, station, this is Luke Bertzall with WHP-TV in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Do you hear me? Hey, Luke, I have you loud and clear. Welcome aboard the International Space Station. Wow, what an honor. This is very, very cool. Now, Expedition 67 flight engineer Bob Hines. Now, Bob, I do hear that you are from Harrisburg, PA, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, my roots go back to uh, go back to Harrisburg. Uh, my family moved around a lot when I was little, but uh, you know, Harrisburg was uh, was kind of the center of uh, of all of that while I was growing up. Right. So, you know, being from Harrisburg, has any part of your upbringing, you know, in the area, you know, had a role in, you know, your career now? I mean, look at you. You're on the ISS. That is so neat. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. I got to pinch myself every now and then uh, to think about it. Uh, certainly, you know, uh, that uh, the Hershey Harrisburg area uh, where my parents and my grandparents, uh, you know, lived, it's uh, it, it's played a huge role. I learned to fly there, and as you know, my career uh, leading up to this was as an Air Force pilot and a test pilot, and uh, you know that certainly paved the paved the way. So you know, my uh, way back in the early days of learning to fly at Regal Airport in Palmyra. Uh, you know, all the way to here uh, that, you know, Hershey and Harrisburg, it, uh, it's made me who I am. I have uh, mentors. Uh, my oldest friendships go back to, uh, to there. And, you know, my grandparents have lived there. So it is just a, the, the one constant in my life uh, has been that area. And it's, uh, it's made me who I am today. All right. Now, what has your experience been like on the International Space Station? Is it, uh, is it cozy for you? Do you have Wi-Fi or anything? We actually do, uh, you know, having some military deployments under my belt, uh, this has been uh, quite, quite an amazing experience. We have really, really good connectivity up here. Uh, we have Wi-Fi. It, uh, it, it's a little bit slower than what we have back home, so streaming videos is a little bit challenging. But uh, we have, uh, you know, we can make phone calls and talk to our families and things like that. So uh, it has been pretty great being up here and certainly the views are amazing getting to look outside and see just the amazing creation as we orbit the earth and how it changes from day to day is pretty spectacular right so this was your first flight as a pilot since being selected as an official astronaut so if you can just talk to me about your experience in doing so Yeah, I was really fortunate to uh, be selected in the class that was selected in uh, 2017. And so we went through uh, a couple years of basic training and then, uh, you know, we kind of get jobs within the astronaut office after that. And then uh, about two years ago, a uh, year and a half ago, I got a phone call from the chief of the office just asking, you know, if I was busy for the next year or so. and. Uh, at offering me the flight assignment to be uh, the pilot on the Crew-4 SpaceX uh, Dragon on the way to the International Space Station. So that is obviously a dream come true. Uh, you know, all the parents and teachers and mentors and friends that have helped me along the way are certainly part of that. And so they're, they're part of this achievement of, you know, me being up here and, and they are all certainly here, uh, here with me in spirit. Right. So what has it been like being in space? You know, does being weightless ever wear off or, you know, do you ever forget that you're weightless at any moment? <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I think, uh, you know, it's kind of like you, once you live here uh, for a little while, you have the opportunity uh, to, uh, to adapt and adjust and it's a, uh, it becomes very natural. And so sometimes you do forget that, that you're up here and then you step back and you realize how cool it is to get to float everywhere. And then uh, certainly you go to the window and you look out the window and that's the, uh, that's the big reminder, uh, you know, that holy cow, we are incredibly fortunate to get to be doing what we're doing up here. Um, it's a it's a job. Our days are long. We're working really hard doing all the different science, uh, you know, and we touch all different brands of science up here, you know, from uh, botany. Uh, you know, we're growing 
plants uh, just behind the camera here. We've got some plants that we're growing. Uh, we've got robotics and, you know, these astro bees uh, that are over here are working on new, uh, new forms of automation and robotics and, and things like that. And so just getting to do all of that stuff every day is, is pretty, pretty amazing. All right, so what advice would you give some kids that are looking at I'm sorry, you broke up on that one. Do you, do you mind repeating that question, please? Yeah, sure. Uh, what advice would you give any kids that are looking to become a pilot or even an astronaut like you? Yeah, that's a great question. My, my advice would be don't dream big, um, dream huge. Uh, don't be afraid to just have incredible, uh, incredibly high dreams. Um, I, and, then, and then enjoy the journey. You know, find something you're passionate about and set big goals. Uh, and, and go after it. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing. And if you find something that you really enjoy and you go after that, uh, it's, it's not as much about the destination as it is the journey. And that's one of the amazing things about you know, being up here is when I look back on it, yeah, it's incredible being here, but the journey to get here is what has been really amazing and, uh, and special for me. And being able to share that with uh, family and friends uh, and, and things like that along the way is what's really important. And so, you know, bottom line, don't, don't limit yourself. Uh, set, set huge dreams and go for it. All right, so you can answer the question with this, you know, what you're doing now, but what has been the biggest accomplishment of your career thus far? Yeah, that's a hard question for me to answer. I tend to not look at things as accomplishments necessarily. Uh, I look at experiences, uh, and I just kind of alluded to a journey uh, and enjoying the journey. And certainly this is an experience, and this is an incredible experience being up here. Uh, but I've had you know, several along the way that are, were just amazing experiences and, and opportunities. So I've been really fortunate uh, to get to go to test pilot school. Obviously, you know, grad before that, graduating pilot training in the Air Force. Uh, you know, we're all just amazing things. And, you know, for a little boy who wanted to be a pilot a long time ago, uh, each of those was a, an achievement or a dream accomplished uh, along the way. And so uh, to be able to continue that on and it culminate in a space flight up here uh, has been incredible. Uh, but it really being here, it's just kind of whets the appetite for what NASA has stored in the future, which is, you know, going on to the moon uh, over the next few years and then eventually to Mars. And so uh, as awesome as this trip is to low Earth orbit, I can only imagine how amazing it's going to be when we get to the moon and Mars and start doing all the science that that has to hold for us. Right. So what was the training like to become an astronaut? Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty intense, and it's not. Um, we, you know, we study five basic things. So once we get selected, we go through about um, uh, two years of basic astronaut training, and we're we're learning things uh, like robotics, the space station systems. Uh, we have to learn the Russian language. Uh, we learn um, how to fly in the uh, T-38, and then also spacewalk training. Uh, so all of those things together, you know, each one by itself is, uh, is definitely manageable. Uh, what is really, really challenging is the breadth of topics that we start covering. Uh, and then we're also hitting on the different science that we might see on space stations. So anything from, you know, DNA sequencing to, you know, microbiology to metallurgy, uh, different things like that. And so uh, the really challenging part for me was the, you know, taking all of that information in uh, from such a wide variety of sources. Uh, but really, for someone like me, I had a real challenge learning Russian, and that, was, uh, that probably took the most effort of anything else. All right, Bob, thank you so much for joining us, and I hope to see you back here in Harrisburg sometime very soon. All right, stay safe up there. Will do. Thanks so much. It was great talking with you. And I just want to say hey to my family and friends back home. Uh, and uh, thank you for the opportunity. And great talking with you. Houston Station. This is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you all participants from WHP TV station. Please stand by while we reconfigure for audio and normal audio and video con.